We are no longer going to wear shoes even when we're outside. I think there are so many benefits of going barefoot outside and we want to take advantage to each and every one of these. Hey people, people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So this video, it's a very uh, chill video, very mm, video. And this video is one of the videos for me personally is that be careful what you see on like the internet is not a real place, guys. It's not a real place. And the internet that exposes us to a different type of people. But for me, it's like everything you see on the internet, take it with a pinch of salt. So apparently, this couple has been called out on social media for deciding to walk barefoot all around. <clears throat> we know on the internet, you guys know I'm of that person and I, I welcome diversity. I welcome being different. I welcome different opinions. Like being different is okay for me, like very okay. But this couple decided to be in that, oh, we're in the natural element. We have to feel the earth. And they decided that, you know what, we're going to walk around without shoes and all that. And mind you, this is in America where it's winter and it's cold. And this couple are saying that they are walking barefoot all around. And this has gotten people talking. Like, people are like, mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, please, let's go check out this video of what they do, how they walk around barefoot and people's reaction to this. And then we'll come back and talk more. We are no longer going to wear shoes, even when we're outside. I think there are so many benefits of going barefoot outside, and we want to take advantage to each and every one of these. Of course, there's going to be people that think it's kind of crazy and look at us weird, but the benefits are totally worth it. One thing it definitely does is it grounds us. We feel connected to nature. Going barefoot can actually help you gain a greater appreciation for the natural world. And we've definitely noticed that even in the short time we've done it. This year, I really wanted to start getting into yoga, and this is actually a form of foot yoga. The resistance and inconsistency nature offers integrates reflexes in the foot and forms strong arches, which is really important to us. We've both noticed that our posture has improved and our stress has reduced. I know you're probably thinking, that's gross, we're going to get sick from doing this. But barefoot walking can actually have many positive effects on your immune system. It can help reduce white blood cells and help fight off sicknesses while building a stronger immunity. It also naturally helps with copper and iron levels. We like to think of it like a cold plunge for our feet. Especially where we are in the winter, it's super cold here and there's a lot of snow. But there's plenty of places like this fireplace to warm up when we need to. We know this is definitely common in Ohio, but let us know if this is something you do too. Of course, there's going to be people that think it's kind of crazy and look at us weird, but the benefits are totally worth it. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? That's Why would you touch that button? I understand you want to be one with the crack pipe piss filled floor. That's a you thing. <clears throat> but you sat there and took your dirty, <clears throat> dirty toes and touched that button. Why would you do that? Why? You know what? I hope, <clears throat> I hope your toes get stuck in the escalator. Mm -hmm. I hope somebody drives by you in a motorized wheelchair and just crushes your big toe and say, oops. I'm so sorry I didn't see you right there. I hope you get stepped on by a toddler in hard shoes. Them hard bottom shoes, yeah. Yeah, matter of fact, I hope you don't pay attention and step in something and it ends up being warm. Yeah, yeah. I hope, I hope somebody's great Dane accidentally steps on your toes. Matter of fact, I hope I hope that somehow, some way, just Legos just, just just fall in front of you and you didn't even notice. Yeah. Yeah. Nasty. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Go back and clean that button. Why would you do that? You nasty. <sighs> we are no longer going to wear yeah, shoes agree. even when we're outside. Now they know dang well that was gonna ooh, piss some people off. Piss some people off. I'm some people. These are the type of people that you literally can't let in your house. How do you let people like this in your house when they bring the whole outside on the inside? They said this is good for your health. Will they let the little baby run around with no shoes on? Hmm. If they do, take that poor baby. Because what is the reason? There's going to be people who say we're crazy. Because we kind of are. And people just be calling everything with a name. You call walk around barefoot foot yoga. Says who? Says who? <laughs> this girl right here had a jump scare. She literally jumped when she saw her not have no shoes on. 
These are one of those rare cases where I'm like, some people really do need a job. They really need something to do. Because you're going to wear no shoes in the snow. Look at this down here. You see that down there? That's dirty snow. That's dog piss. That's dirty, nasty things on the floor. I'm sorry. I can't even talk about this no more. It's bothering me. It's bothering me. Oh, wait, I forgot. In their part two, they got kicked out of the mall for being barefoot. So there's that. We are no longer going to wear shoes, even when we're out. I briefly went to college, and that college that I went to was an ag college. So there were a lot of animals. There were a lot of people that were always around animals. So if you've been around people that are always around animals, people that work with animals, you know, they wear the boots and they step in everything, you know, poo poo. I remember showing up the first week to class and there was this beautiful girl. And then you look down and she's not wearing any shoes. That was her thing. She just didn't wear shoes which absolutely horrified me because there are certain things that you can catch when you step in animal feces. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We are no longer going to wear shoes even when we're outside. I think there are so many benefits of going barefoot out of all the white people privilege. Do you want tetanus? Do you want hookworms? Because those are just two of the things that you could get from walking barefoot everywhere you go. Both the privilege and the idea give me so much ick. Look at us weird, but the benefits are totally worth it. Did you see it? Right there. Right there. They have that shoes the on. Of an Ugg boot. They're two lying pieces of <laughs> Kinda crazy and look at us weird, but the benefits are totally worth it. One thing it definitely- The crosswalk button wasn't really nature to be touched by your foot, but okay. It's interesting how in a half a second of that video, you can see a boot. Are they Uggs? I heard they're warm. We are no longer going to wear shoes, even when we're outside. I give our species maybe three years. Maybe three years. Four if we didn't piss off the aliens. Take your ass back to the car and turn it on. Turn it on high. Turn it on high. Because as soon as you was done recording, he was like, can we go back to the car? <laughs> this was some <laughs> This was your fault. This was your idea. You want to do this video. I just want pancakes. We in front of IHOP with no shoes on. We're in Minnesota. I think. I'm assuming y'all are. But. Oh my God. Get me back to the car. You carry me to the car. You walking like the wife of a presidential candidate. Like baby, you gonna get pneumonia. I think it's kind of crazy and look at us weird. But the benefits are totally worth it. One thing. It you know who don't do that? Exactly. That's who doesn't do that. We are no longer going to wear shoes, even when we're outside. I think there are so many benefits of going barefoot out. Okay, for the first part of this video, I'm gonna call you out on your bull. Second part, I'm gonna pretend like you're telling the truth. First of all, you're lying. The bottom of your feet look clean in like half those clips. The times when it looks dirty, that looks like that natural dirt that you people have. But in the other clips, your feet literally look clean. Stop lying. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. I don't care if you want to be stupid. Don't lie to me. Now I'm going to pretend like you're telling the truth. You <laughs> dirty. Ew. 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 One of the clips you put, you, you, you used your foot when you were about to get on the crosswalk to click that little button to, so that it knows that you're there. You are. Ooh, you're so lucky. I would have stepped on your feet like this. And I would have looked in your eyes while I was stepping in your feet like this. <laughs> we are no longer going to wear shoes, even when we're outside. So I think there are so many benefits of going barefoot off. I'm being a little dramatic, but like, that's how the plague happens. You know how much gross shit is? <sighs> we are no longer going to wear shoes, even when we're outside. I think there are so many benefits of going barefoot off. When Caribbean people say no bra top C, this is exactly what we mean. Now, I'm all for being barefoot, okay? I love being barefoot in my own yard or in nature, like on the beach, but not on the sidewalk, not in a mall. And these are the same people who have never had a dose of Zentel in their life. And look at us weird, but the benefits are totally worth it. One thing it definitely does is it... <laughs> but 
please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think about this video down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. Yeah, on this channel, we're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So go ahead, feel free, share your thoughts. So anyway, now let's even, oh, let me talk like that guy said. Okay, let me act. I'm going to call you out on your bullshit and then act stupid like I believe what you said. Like, the fact that when I saw the video, I was just like, okay. But I believe that there are people like that because we have people that don't even bait too. Some people that say they bait once a year. They're on the internet, guys. If you want this type of video, let me know. There's some people that talk about how they don't watch with soap. There's some people that said, why should they be baiting every day? Mm -mm. So I kind of believe, okay, there might be people that just want to walk barefoot, but let's I will admit that, okay, they are walking barefoot. But why would you want to walk barefoot, though? Why? I, even in my own house that I mop the floor every single day, I still have slippers on. I still have my house slippers on. I can't afford to put my leg on the ground. I'll probably feel sick or something. I don't know. I just cannot. Physically, I can walk with my barefoot all around. While I'm in the beach, yes, I can do that. I can walk, but to a limited amount of time, I'm back wearing my slippers. And I feel like, I don't know if it was something that happened to me as a child. Maybe the house where this whole thing comes. I'm going to give you guys a story time. You guys know, I'll just give you guys some of my story time. So anyway, when I was a child, I had, um, there's this, um, rain warm because um growing up when i was a little child like literally i was born on an island here in nigeria a beautiful island thinking of going back to that place again like such a beautiful it was a small beautiful island and i was that child that i love walking with my barefoot around like yes to think that i was that person and now i'm that person that i can't walk with barefoot it's really crazy so i was that child i like walking barefoot i would jump in the rain i would dance in the rain like i would, like it was such a beautiful um experience and there was this incident that happened where a worm i don't know what type of worm actually entered into my leg and guys it was so scary that oh my goodness so what happened was that when the worm entered my leg and I was taken to the, I, I was taken to a local hospital, like not something serious because the, my mom didn't actually think it was that serious. And I guess apparently they used a wrong uh, medication for it and my leg started getting swollen. I was scared. I, I was really, really young, but I was scared. I remember I was asking my mom if they were going to cut my legs off. I remember my leg was swollen. I still have the scars on my leg. If I still have it, even though it has clear, I'll probably be like six, seven when that happened. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll ask my mom that how old I was. But I was very little and I was crying. My leg, it hurt so much. And I had to bandage my leg. I know that the leg has to, like, there was this sore around my leg, both the top and under my feet, like, and since then, I learned my lesson. Because my mom will always tell me, put on your slippers when you go out. But I won't listen. I will be jumping around and playing around and all that. I learned my lesson the hard way. And now I cannot afford it to put my leg on the floor. So seeing people that do things like that, I'm just like, side-eyeing then. Like, why would you do that? That's nasty. And that's dangerous. But... Like I said, be careful what you take on the internet. Take it anything you see on the internet, take it with a pinch of salt. Because clearly these people are just trying to do chalk value content and they choose to do this because they were wearing footwear and try to make it seem like it has health benefits. For me, that's just crazy. Why would you even do that? Try to uh, when you have a lot of some people that are very impressionable on the internet that will probably think of trying this and you know deep down you're not doing this. Like, I just be careful people you choose to watch and follow on the internet because some people are just leading people to hell, literally. Literally. Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this conversation, this video down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. You're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So go ahead and share your thoughts. Please don't forget to share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have banging conversation. But please go ahead, share this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button because this helps you to, to put out my content for more people to see. And that will be you supporting this channel and this girl. 
with that all said guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video deuces